Okay, we're gonna do some easy Wing Chun. So, an easy Wing Chun is basically, uh, we're gonna stand, and at this point we're just gonna stand and relax. Remember you always wanna have the adduction stance where the knees are slightly in. It's like you're holding a ball in there. It lowers the center of gravity. The knees are slightly bent, the back is straight. The pelvis is tucked forward slightly and breathing deeply. Breathing from the abdomen, middle lungs, and upper lungs and exhaling evenly, contracting the lower abdomen slightly as you exhale. And so, from here, we're just simply going to uh, have the, um, the cover stance, basically your triangle here, and the triangle on the outside as well. That's your cover stance. So from here, we're simply going to do uh, a block, an outward block, or a tan style, an outward block, and a spear, okay? So outward block and spear. So this outward block is not a forceful block, it's a triggered block. It's triggered by the sensitivity, your sensitivity of the direction of the force, okay? Um, so basically, doing a sort of an outward block with a spear. And then this outward block followed by a spear, and then we're gonna do circle or chain uh, punches. Remember to continue with the deep breathing as you do the exercise. Or you can do a uh, closed fist. If you do the straight hand, you want to make sure your fingers are straight. And you know, again, you're punching with this uh, three knuckles here on the bottom connected to the forearm. So basically it's block. Punch. Real easy. Remember to slightly sink. <laughs> and a little bit about the Bruce, Bruce Lee philosophy. Uh, Bruce Lee may have been trained traditionally on, with Wing Chun, although he developed it through his imagination. So basically, you're going to get hit if you follow these set patterns, okay? So you're going to have to take it into another realm uh, and use your creativity to move as your body uh, survival mechanism uh, as you do. So basically from here, we're going to block and strike, okay? Uh, three strikes is good. So however many you want to do. Basically block and strike, and then you're going to lift up the one side leg, and then kick, and then one more time, do three more. Okay, so pretty easy, walk, okay, strike, step in, three more. Okay, and you can practice it on the other side as well. Very easy, effective wind chunk. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a straight uh, block. It's basically a pack set or side block, inward block, and strike. Okay, so inward block, strike, one, two, three. Okay, so inward block, strike. So this block is not enough force to send you this way or this way. It's a straight in sort of uh, force that comes toward the body. One, two, three. Okay, and that's another easy one. Now the other one is the bong sao. So the bong sao is basically a force that comes from this side to knock you here. So, so if the force comes from this side and the bong sao is not active, as far as I'm concerned, it's a passive movement triggered by the force that is coming in. So that force has to be there. It's the same thing here. The force goes this way, it goes here. The force is centered, it goes here. Okay? So basically on the on the a bong style, force comes in this way, turn slightly, one, two, three. Step in, one, two, three. Okay? When you step in, always remember drag the back foot, okay? This is the boat, this is the anchor. The anchor stays on the bottom, right? Stays grounded. So when you step in, make sure the bottom foot is stayed, stays grounded, okay? So that's some easy Wing Chun tips. Uh, use it wisely, and thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember we also do uh, instructions, so if you're interested, contact us.